Okay, let's take a look at number four. Five parentheses, three X plus four, close parentheses equals negative 10. Distributive property. We're multiplying both terms inside by five. So five times three X, 15 X, five times four, 20 equals negative 10. Two-step problem. What are we undoing? We're undoing the addition first before we undo this multiplication. So how do we undo plus 20? minus 20, but we first have to write everything that's there because what are we subtracting from 20 from? We're subtracting it from this. So that needs to be there. Then minus 20 equals, what are we subtracting 20 from? We're subtracting 20 from this, the other side. So that's there first, then minus 20. We're not putting it in front. We follow it at the end. Okay. Now these two combined to cancel out, leaving just 15 X and these two combined negative 10 minus another 20. You're already down 10. You go down another 20. Now you're down 30, negative 30. 15 X equals negative 30. What's happening to X? It's being multiplied by 15. We undo it with divided by 15. 15 X divided by 15. If we do it to one side, we do it to the other. 15 over 15 or one X or just X equals negative 30 divided by positive 15. Negative divided by positive is negative. 30 divided by 15 is two, x equals negative two. To do the proof, we write everything exactly the same, well, the original equation first, and then everything exactly the same, these parentheses become brackets because we're substituting parentheses in for the x. So five parentheses, three parentheses, negative two, plus four, close parentheses, I'm saying parentheses because they still function like parentheses, even though they're brackets for the moment. It's the same idea. They call them grouping symbols. They're grouping the stuff, stuff together. Okay, equals negative 10. Now, because we can resolve this to a single number, we're not doing distributive property in. We're just bringing, getting all of this to a single number before we do anything outside of it. So five stays here. This three times negative two is negative six. And since the parentheses go away inside, the outside brackets return to being parentheses. So negative six plus four equals negative 10. And then in here, we can keep going. So we keep going. If we can keep going inside the parentheses, we do. Negative six plus four, negative two. Five parentheses, negative two, close parentheses equals negative 10. And now we can do this multiplication. Five times negative two, positive times negative is negative. 5 times 2 is 10, negative 10 equals negative 10. Check. Now, number 5. Okay. The last two, numbers 3 and 4, were distributive property. This right here is a uh, combined like term situation. What are the terms? 2K and negative 13K. Please, if you're looking at this and saying it's 13K, don't see it as 13K, see it as negative 13K. That's the only way you're gonna really understand what that is, okay? So 2K, take away 13K is negative 11K. We had two, if we go down 13, the first two that we go down gets us to zero, and the next 11 that we go down gets us 11 below zero, okay? So 2K minus 13K, like terms, becomes a negative 11K. And this plus three, on the left side of equals doesn't have anything to combine with, so it stays there as plus three, that equals 36. Now, it's a two-step problem. What's happening to K? It's being multiplied by negative 11, and three is being added to it. The last thing that happens in that sequence is three is added to it, so that's the first thing we undo because we're going backwards. So, negative 11K plus three minus three equals 36 minus three. The exact same thing that was there with a the change at the end. Exact same thing that was there with a the change at the end. Negative 11K, this cancels out. So negative 11K equals 36 minus three is 33. What's happening to K now? It's being multiplied by negative 11. How do we undo that? Divided by negative 11, divided by negative 11, okay? Negative 11 over 11, negative 11 over negative 11 equals one. One K is just K. 33 divided by negative 11, positive divided by negative is negative, and 11 goes into 33 three times. So k equals negative three. 
we think. <clears throat> Let's check it. Rewrite your original equation. We're not combining like terms. We literally write the original equation untouched. And on the next line, we do it exactly the same, except everywhere there was a variable, we put parentheses and the value in. So two, parentheses negative three, plus three minus 13, parentheses negative three, equals 36. <clears throat> and now we do the multiplication, two times negative three is negative six. And here a lot of people had troubles. Negative 13 times negative three, negative times negative is positive. 13 times three is 39. So all that becomes positive 39, okay, equals 36. <clears throat> and now coming left to right, we say negative six plus three is negative three. We did that on that step, writing everything else the same. And now negative three plus 39, you're essentially subtracting three because that's the negative three takes three away down to 36 equals 36, check.